Apple is apparently exploring a shift to its long-standing iPhone introduction calendar, with the conventional Apple iPhone 18 unlikely to debut in 2026. If the current allegation proves genuine, Apple will release the base iPhone 18 in 2027, departing from its normal annual upgrade for the popular model. Apple is prepared to make dramatic upgrades to its smartphone series with the anticipated iPhone 18 launch. This strategy melds nostalgic themes with avant-garde technologies, attempting to deliver a distinctive product that stands apart in the competitive landscape. Key enhancements focus around a largely translucent look, including the significant elimination of the dynamic island cutout in favor of unique underscreen front camera capabilities. In addition to these stylistic adjustments, the upcoming generation promises major advances in camera architecture, CPU efficacy, and battery longevity efforts geared at bolstering Apple's place inside the premium market segment. Despite these major redesigns, predicted measurements for the screens will remain the same, with the iPhone 18 Pro maintaining a size of 6.3 inches and the Pro Max version at 6.9 inches. The back camera layout, although benefiting from internal advancements, is expected to preserve the general design of its predecessor, ensuring visual consistency and a sense of familiarity for consumers. The inspiration for this unusual appearance stems from Macintosh computers of the late 1990s, notably the iMac G3 and the iBook, both famed for their colorful yet semi-transparent enclosures. This deliberate attempt appears to stir nostalgia for the Steve Jobs era, a time when Apple firmly cemented its position as a beacon of industrial design. A big aesthetic highlight of the iPhone 18 Pro will be a transparent glass layer enclosing the MagSafe charging coil on its rear. This glass will provide glimpses of some internal components, like the wireless charging coil, engendering a startlingly technical visual impression. Industry watchers consider this move a determined endeavor aimed at establishing the premium persona of Apple's offerings. By combining features that harken back to prior achievements, the corporation not only distinguishes itself from competition, but also develops the emotional bonds with its most dedicated consumer base. This technique noticeably diverges from competitors, who generally rely on glowing design components and instead employ a more muted yet sophisticated solution emphasizing distinctive design characteristics without compromising the device's structural robustness or weather resilience. One of the most widely awaited upgrades for the 2026 Pro series is the disappearance of the Dynamic Island cutout, a feature first introduced with the iPhone 14 Pro. Apple is reportedly researching a method that merges the front-facing camera behind the display, leaving it virtually unnoticeable when not engaged. This change is poised to enlarge the viewing area by around 5% compared to present models, therefore increasing the immersive experience for activities like content consumption, gaming, and internet browsing. Moreover, the sensors required for the Face ID facial recognition system will likewise be disguised beneath the screen. Still, they will not be wholly invisible, delaying the introduction of a fully borderless display till future iterations. The creation of these panels is anchored by a collaboration with Samsung Display, which will offer upgraded OLED screens while keeping the 120Hz promotion refresh rate for seamless animations and scrolling. The iPhone 18 Pro's camera system is anticipated to undergo major advancements, integrating a primary sensor coupled with variable aperture technology, a feature that bestows unrivaled control over light intake and depth of focus. This capability, currently present in handsets from competitors such as Samsung and Huawei, will enable users to manually alter the lens aperture within a range spanning from f1.4 to f2.0. In practical terms, a wider aperture, such as f1.4, proved useful in low-light conditions, permitting the capture of finer details while limiting noise and engendering a more natural background blur for portrait photography. Conversely, a smaller aperture, such as f2.0, becomes advantageous for landscape or group photographs where a greater area of focus is required. Numerous new features, including enhancements in image and video processing, will be driven by the A20 Pro chip. This new processor, built using 2 nanometer technology, offers a considerable boost in both performance and energy efficiency. The Hayton transistor density will expedite artificial intelligence and machine learning operations, which are vital for functionalities like cinema mode, computational photography, and upcoming OS integrations. The hardware launch will coincide with the release of iOS 27, the latest generation of Apple's operating system, 
The flawless synergy between new hardware and software will be important, needing accurate calibrations for technologies like the variable aperture camera to perform easily and stably. The endurance and longevity of the iPhone 18 Pro Max will be improved by a transition to a stainless steel battery housing, supplanting the aluminum utilized in earlier versions. This structural innovation boosts impact resistance by around 20%, while enhancing heat dissipation by nearly 15%, thus enabling the device to deliver peak performance over extended durations under vigorous operation. According to internal estimates by Apple, the battery capacity is set to improve, reaching 4,800 milliamps in the Pro Max form, which should provide up to 30 hours of mixed usage. This upgrade is further complemented by a newly built 5G modem that offers better energy efficiency. Sustainability remains an important factor, with goals to incorporate 95% recycled materials in the battery components. For the 2026 and 2027 product cycles, Apple wants to alter its launch timetable. The iPhone 18 Pro and Pro Max variants are expected for a September 2026 release, while the Standard and Plus variations will launch in Spring 2027. This strategic division enables the corporation to promote its most advanced advances in the Pro models, establishing them as the quintessence of the annual display, while simultaneously generating a unique launch window for the more budget-friendly options. The implementation of a partially transparent backplane incites queries regarding durability and signal interference. However, sources associated with the production chain assert that prototypes have undergone rigorous evaluations, affirming that the design does not impede cellular, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth signal reception, thanks to the incorporation of specially engineered layers and materials that allow radio wave permeability. New colors, purple, burgundy, and coffee brown. A major Chinese leaker on Weibo has revealed the likely color palette for the iPhone 18 Pro and Pro Max expected to come next year. Despite good sales of the iPhone 17 Pro, as stated by CEO Tim Cook, the color selections garnered varied opinions, especially due to the lack of a conventional black variant. This year's collection provided only silver, navy blue, and cosmic orange. According to the source, the iPhone 18 Pro is expected to be offered in three new shades, coffee brown, purple, and wine red, also known as burgundy. While names may differ slightly based on translations, the overall aesthetic goes toward deeper, more sophisticated tones compared to the present generation. The persistent absence of a black variant is likely to frustrate many enthusiasts. The biggest cause, analysts think, is Apple's decision to use anodized aluminum frames in the iPhone 17 Pro, which are lighter but more prone to noticeable scratches, a phenomenon nicknamed Scratchgate. Analysts think that releasing a black edition with anodized metal will simply aggravate these scratch difficulties, possibly forcing Apple to avoid black for the second year in a row. That said, from 2020 to 2024, Apple continuously offered black or dark gray models for its Pro series. Consumers have come to expect them, and their absence leaves some devoted users feeling let down. As with any early leaks, these color options are subject to change. Apple often finalizes its color palette later in the design process, based on both market trends and material limits. Still, if the reports are genuine, the iPhone 18 Pro might debut with a more streamlined, unified rear design, a thinner dynamic island, and a deeper, more elegant color palette. If you're used to an entirely new generation of iPhones arriving every fall, this year you'll be startled. Apple may surprise you. According to a rising number of sources, it looks like the traditional iPhone 18 will not be introduced at all this year. Apple is purportedly contemplating a rather substantial change in the regular release cycle of its phones, which we have been accustomed to for more than a decade. Although the iPhone 17 in 2025 was incredibly successful and is still fairly tough to get hold of, its successor in the form of the ordinary iPhone 18 is not projected to appear until spring 2027. This would mean that the iPhone 17 will be on the market as the current base model for more than 18 months, which is something that Apple has never done before. This would be the first time that Apple has skipped a whole calendar year without introducing a new generation of non-pro iPhones. The rationale is fairly logical. Apple Apple wants to revamp its phone launch approach, at least according to a number of analysts with supposed insight into its plans. Specifically, the Californian Corporation is slated to split its iPhone debuts into two separate time slots for the first time this year, instead of Apple showcasing all models at once in September. 
According to Conjecture, the most premium models should be introduced in the fall, while the more affordable and regular models vary, and Apple would hide them until next year. Specifically, this means that it will arrive in the fall for the iPhone 18 Pro, the iPhone 18 Pro Max, and for the first time ever, also a flexible iPhone. The classic iPhone 18 should come in the spring of 2027, alongside the iPhone 18 model and the second-generation iPhone Air. 2026 would thus be the first year in a long time when Apple will not produce a new basic iPhone. A split launch would apply enabling better differentiation of various models, providing them longer sales space without cannibalizing each other, while at the same time spreading out key product premieres more evenly throughout the year. According to researchers, practical reasons also play a role. Specifically, the new presentation system should provide smoother production, reduced pressure on the supply chain, and a better allocation of revenues between fiscal quarters. If this information is accurate, we are in for possibly the biggest change in the regularity of iPhone releases in the previous decade, and while it may appear peculiar from an app. This perspective, this is a step that makes shockingly excellent sense in a period of an ever-expanding portfolio. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech news and updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.